Welcome to the KMZ file creation training video. In this video, we will teach you how to create or update your service area registration, also known as SAR, with USA North 811 by creating KMZ files in Google Earth. If you do not have Google Earth, please click on the link in the description of this video to download it at no cost. As a utility member of USA North 811, you are required to provide us with your most current service area so that we can notify you when an excavator or homeowner plans to dig in those locations. Your service area is drawn on a map that displays where you own or operate facilities. Review your service area at least once a year to update it promptly when changes occur. A KMZ file contains geographical information that can be opened by an internet-based map browser, like Google Earth. By creating KMZ files, you can send a visual representation of your service area directly to our member services department to be uploaded into the system to notify you if any excavation is taking place in that area. Once we open the program, we want to first create a folder that will contain our entire service areas that we draw on the map. Make sure that your sidebar is open on the left side of the window. If you don't see a sidebar, click the Show Sidebar button above the map. To create a folder, right-click on the My Places option in the Places tab, then go to Add, and then click Folder. A sub-menu will pop up. All you need to do is add a title to the folder in the Name field. Please include your membership code that your service areas are related to. Then click OK. Your folder will now be displayed in the Places tab. Now you will need to locate the region on the map in which you have service areas. You can search for the general area using the search bar to the left of the screen by using many different criteria from GPS coordinates, intersections, addresses, to landmarks. Once the area is visible on the map, you will need to draw out your service area using the Polygon tool. Right-click on the folder you created and select Add, then Polygon. The cursor icon will change to a square with crosshairs in it. Using your mouse, left-click around the edge of your surface area until it is covered. You can always right-click to delete the previous point. If you wish to change the color of your area, you can do so in the Style Color tab. Once you've completely covered your area, add a title to this file in the submenu. We're going to call it Service Area 1, so it's easy to keep track of. Then click OK. Your polygon must be sufficiently large enough to make sure you receive all relevant tickets in the vicinity of your underground facilities, but not too large so you don't receive irrelevant tickets. You can make as many service areas that you need in order to adequately cover the facilities that you own or operate. In this example, we only have three service areas that are associated with our member code. Verify that each polygon is inside the folder that you created. You can always click and drag the polygon and add it to the folder like so. Right-click on the folder containing your service area and click Save Place As. The file name should match the title of the folder you created. Make sure the file is being saved as a KMZ. Choose the destination that this file will be saved to and click Save. If you already have existing service areas with USA North 811 and you would like to add or remove service areas to that file, then email the Member Services Department at memberservices at usanorth811.org. Please include the member code for the service areas that you are requesting. Once you have received the shapefile from USA North 811, save it to your computer. Launch Google Earth and click File in the upper left hand corner. Then, click Import. Select the shapefile that you received and it should open up your service area in the program. Right-click on the existing shapefile and select Add, then Polygon. The cursor icon will change to a square with crosshairs in it. Using your mouse, left-click around the edge of your service area until it is covered. You can always right-click to delete the previous point. If you wish to change the color of your area, you can do so in the Style Color tab. Once you've completely covered your area, add a title to this file in the submenu. 
Verify that the new polygons are inside the existing shapefile that you imported. You can always click and drag the polygons and add it to your file like so. Right click on the shapefile containing your new and existing surface areas and click Save Place As. The file name should match the title of the existing file you received from us. Make sure the file is being saved as a KMZ file and your member code is in the file name. Choose the destination that this file will be saved to and click Save. Any KMZ file that USA North 811 receives will be used to overwrite your existing service areas associated with that member code. Make sure to verify that your entire service area, including the areas you want to keep, along with the new additions, are included in the KMZ file you send to us. In a new email, please attach the KMZ file and send it to memberservices at usanorth811.org. Our Member Services Department will use your KMZ file to create or update your service area registration. As always, if you have any questions regarding KMZ files, service area registration, or your membership account, please contact our Member Services Department at that same email.